In the next 30 seconds, I am gonna get you excited about creating quarter outputs using R, like the one that's on the screen right now. In the next five minutes, I'm gonna teach you how to get going and you'll be very comfortable with starting your own quarter project. And over the next few videos, I'm gonna turn you into an absolute expert. So let's do this, boom shakalaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating R programming videos on everything. What you're seeing on the screen right now is a dashboard. I created this using R programming as a Quarto output. Quarto lets you weave together content and executable code in any kind of output that you can imagine, be it a PDF, a Word document, a PowerPoint presentation, a web page. So this is the way to create reproducible documents. You are going to love this. For example, he has a PDF that I created and you know what's absolutely gorgeous about this? Look at this. It even creates references. It creates a bibliography at the end of your document. He has another web page that I created. You would not believe how easy it is to create this sort of output in our studio using Quarto. Now he has a nice table of content and look, here's where the magic is. Quarto lets you insert executable code and it lets the output of that code get automatically inserted into your document, whether it's a Word document, a PDF, an HTML document, a dashboard. And what's lovely about it is as your data gets updated, your output will automatically be updated with it. So you can create reproducible documents. Quarto gives you enormous control over what it is that lands up in the output that you're creating, both in terms of the look feel, and we're gonna walk through all of this and exactly how to do it, but also in terms of whether or not you want to or don't want to show the code that went into creating a plot. So in this case, I've opted to make the code available. Here's the code for that particular plot. And I've got little annotations that you can use to see how, what it is that I was doing in any particular part of that code. Okay, so very exciting stuff, let's keep going. Now today I'm gonna to teach you how to get going with Quarto, but over the next few videos, I'm gonna teach you absolutely everything you need to know to be able to produce these sorts of outputs. So, excited? I hope so, let's do this. For each of the lessons, I've created an HTML document like the one you're seeing on the screen right now that'll walk you through all of the details that I'm gonna teach you, right? And I'm gonna give you access to these documents. There'll be a link on the screen at the end of the video. So today we'll learn about how to get going. Then we're gonna learn about inserting code into your document and how to control whether or not the code is run and whether it displays the output, etc., etc. Then we'll learn about these narrative elements, right? This text that's not code. We'll learn about how to create hyperlinks, how to create citations, how to create footnotes, etc., etc. Next, we'll learn about YAML and that helps you configure your document. We'll touch on using CSS. I'll walk you through how to create a dashboard like the one on the screen at the moment and a few other tips and tricks like how to get your citations and references into your PDF. Now, let me show you how easy this is, right? Go to File, New File, Quarto Document. Give it a title author you don't have to and now you get to decide is this going to be an html document a pdf or a word document you could also decide that this is going to be a presentation right if you want to make a dashboard then you want to stick with html and create and boom shakalaka we've got our first quarter document it sticks a little bit of text in there that you're going to delete let me quickly talk you through what it is that you're seeing on the screen right now right this is your quarter document right at the very top in this box over here is what we call your YAML. And we're gonna talk a lot about that in future videos. It's basically the metadata that Quarto needs when it renders the document in terms of formatting, etc., etc. So this is very, very useful. At the moment, it's just the basics. It says format HTML. If we change that to PDF, then this would output as a PDF, for example. Below that, we've got these narrative elements, right? So it's just put some stuff in here, but look, you can say this is a heading two, we can change that to a heading one, for example. You edit this, you basically would edit this in the way that you would in a word processor. And down below, we've got our first code chunk, right? So this is executable code. And in this case, a one plus one, you would see this in the rendered document, right? You would see one plus one, and you'd also see the output of that, which would be two. Now, you might not want the code to be in your document, well then you can put in this little bit of YAML over here, and this echo equals false just means don't show us the code. When you wanna insert executable code, you simply go to this pull down menu, executable code, and R. there are shortcuts for these things, but we're gonna stick with pull down menus for now. And when you're done, you hit render, and it will create the HTML or PDF or Word document that you've been creating. All of these steps are very clear and easy to follow here in this HTML document that I've created. So click on the link that's on the screen right now and you'll be able to look at this document and practice what you've learned. Okay, I hope that was useful. Don't ever change, don't do drugs. Always your best. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.